With sustainability, most people have green in mind. But I want to invite you to think holistically. The green perspective is the human perspective because we are living on the land. So green means nature. It means life. From a broader distance, however, the Earth is a blue planet. 75% of the Earth's surface is covered by water. 97% of that water is on the oceans as saline water. The remainder 2.5% as fresh water frozen on the poles. That only 0.5% water would be available to cater the needs of 7.5 million people. Despite of such a scarcity, about 80% of the world wastewater is released untreated into the environment, not recycled. Almost 800 million people lack access to clean, safe water every day. Approximately 3.5 million people die every year because of water and sanitation and hygiene related causes. And every 21 seconds, another child dies from a water-related illness. It seems we have water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. My name is Nader Imani. I am the Executive Vice President of Festo Didactic for Global Education. Festo is a global trendsetter in automation technology and the world market leader in technical education and training. Our goal is to maximize productivity and competitiveness of our customers in factory and process automation. I'm so pleased to be giving a testimonial for a long corporation that has started some years ago. Together with our public partners, USA, UNIDO, and ONE, our activities were fully in line with Sustainable Development Goals number 70 the most beautiful of SDGs that coins the UN decade for action and partnership for development. Having said that, I would like to qualify the relevance of our partnership on three essential pillars. Use of advanced technology in major impact area for human progress, like water management, and NOVOM, on technical education and a social economic relevance on inclusion for development for developed developing countries and economic economy in transition alike. With ever increasing urbanization and industrialization of an increasing world population, we are facing the challenge to secure access to a finite quantity of worldwide water. Nature is not in position to manage the recycling of water alone. This is a time where advanced technology and smart solutions in management of fresh water and recycling of wastewater are helping. Indeed, advanced technologies like use of agile actuators, responsive processors, and connected sensors Embedded in the FESTO Environmental Discovery Systems, EDS, support and replicate the water cycle in a laboratory surrounding. Water automation helps having access to clean the requirements of water per capita that needs to secure human progress and recycling of urban and industrial wastewater to safeguard our living environment. Mastering this, we would require a new path in technical education. Uh, innovative technical education, however, requires competencies in water chemistry and biology, general mechanical and electrical engineering, and water automation, which are part of competencies in the water technician occupation at ISCAT, International Standard Classification of Education Level 4, for operation and maintenance, and level five for planning of wastewater treatment plants 
water and wastewater management in the urban and industrial sectors. The use of automation in water and wastewater sectors require new ways for qualification of professionals in initial and continuing education to secure jobs in the freshwater supply and recycled urban and industrial wastewater. At this stage, it's not only about teaching necessary skills, but also about the innovative way to teach and learn the profession efficiently and without risk. Of course, digitization plays here a very important role. Such innovative education programs help us to turn existing challenges for access to water and sanitation to real opportunities while offering employment to youth. Such initiative fills the gender gap in qualification, offering young women and men to act as professionals, having a major role in the society. This merits to be considered as a model in Morocco for inclusion of female students in the education for all, in Africa to overcome prejudices of the role of women in society and in the world to eradicate stereotype of the would-be technical education just for boys. We pay tribute to the role of women and men to act as water technician, to our eyes as heroes to safeguard our lives. Our cooperation in H2O Maghreb help us to take bold steps in new fields where decision may have not been taken if we were wrong. The principle of PPDP is a mitigate to entrepreneurial risk taken by the private sector and built on the principle of partnership and complementarity in the case to join forces in innovation and technology and education at once. Combined with ideas around sustainability, development goals, SDG number four, quality education, SDG number five, gender equality, and SDG number six, clean water and sanitation. The world intends to meet the goals of the Paris Agreement COP21 by 2050 and continue to underline these challenges in the next COP26 in Glasgow in November 2021. The European Union aims to develop Europe as a carbon neutral continent by 2050 with the socio-economic model and has launched the so-called Green Deal to achieve this. Other nations and regions will follow or are already on their way. In all efforts to improve the general environmental conditions, one of the central challenges will remain clean water for the world population. Now the defined goal must be pursued with great commitment and solution for such upcoming challenges that must be found and implemented. Education in water technology has a key role in this. Let us remember, we don't have any second home and it takes courage to keep our planet safe for generations to come.